Welcome to the web iceberg. We're going to be going over some levels of the internet that you probably didn't even know existed. Or if you did, you may have not known a lot about it quite yet. This isn't going to be one of my normal iceberg chart videos. We're only going over three main levels and the iceberg is just the perfect way to explain this. At the very top, we're going to be looking at the surface web. Right below that, under the water, we'll be looking at the deep web one of the biggest sections of this iceberg. And then finally, we will be looking at the dark web or dark net. Chances are you've probably heard of these terms before, but you may have not fully understood them and they may have been improperly explained to you in the first place. There's a lot of misconceptions between the deep and dark web and that is what we're creating this video for. If you guys watch a lot of videos that go over the deep or dark web, this is going to be a very helpful video for you to fully understand what these topics actually are. Anyways, without any further ado, welcome to the web iceberg. This is approximately 10% of the internet. Obviously, these numbers will vary by your source, but let's go with around 10%. These are things that you use daily and it's stuff that is publicly available to basically everyone. It would be like you getting on Google and searching for pictures of a computer. These are websites and just things on the internet that are designed to be used by anyone and everyone. There's no real limitations here on the surface web, and it's probably the simplest layer of the internet. Anything on the surface level of the internet can be accessed with nearly any internet browser. Now that you guys know about the basics of the surface web, let's dive down one more layer. Welcome to the deep web. This is actually the majority of the internet. Some people say it's up to 90% of the internet. The deep web isn't as scary as it may sound, and after we're done with this layer, I think you'll understand why. The deep web is not indexed by other websites. And what this means is basically to access these websites, you guys need the exact URL or you guys have to be able to log in. You need permissions or just the URL to get to these websites. These are things that aren't designed for public access. They're slightly hidden, which hence the name deep web. These are usually things that you guys kind of have to work a little for to access. So one quick example of you using the deep web would actually just be logging into your Amazon account and buying something or something that you guys do every day, logging into your Facebook account or Twitter to let the world know something. These are all ways that you're actually using the deep web probably without even knowing. Another part of the deep web would be databases that companies create. These are databases that exist, but you guys have to have the permissions to access them if you're on the internet. It's not like the surface web level where everyone has access to it. This is limited and not designed for everyone to see. Hence why it's a little deeper down on this iceberg. Now that you guys know the basics of the deep web, welcome to One Layer Lower. The dark web is actually a little scary. This is where illegal things happen, and that's not the only use for it, but it's what it's primarily known for. The dark web is much more difficult to access, but it's possible. If you guys are to use the dark web, you're most likely gonna be using something called Tor. The dark web is not designed for the everyday person to see, and the dark web is primarily known for hosting illegal activities. I'll let you use your imagination there. But that's not the only use for the dark web. The dark web has a really important use, but we'll get to that in just a little. In order for you to access anything on the dark web, you guys will have to use an encrypted tool like Tor. Like I was saying, a lot of these websites on the dark web are illegal. That or they just are not allowed by your government. So you guys have to use some sort of encryption tool. That is where Tor comes in. Tor is a network that helps improve security and privacy. Tor is just one way of keeping your info slash IP out of these websites. So if you access a website on the dark web using Tor, no one's gonna know it's you and it can't be tracked. And this is exactly why the dark web is full of illegal things. It is because people can't be tracked. It is the easiest way to get away with these things. These dark web websites cannot even be accessed just on your normal browser. These are things that you usually have to use Tor just to find. And these websites aren't just google.com or facebook.com, these have a completely different domain. And that is 
dot onion. These dot onion websites are found by using the Tor browser. The dark web seems like a pretty dark place, but there are some normal uses. One reason that you guys may want to use the dark web would be if you're in a country that is banned Facebook. You guys could use a website like facebook.onion instead of facebook.com if it's banned in your country. This is just one way that reporters and journalists can actually get information that is usually banned. So the dark web has its purposes and is a good way to get information for people that are limited by their government. So just a quick recap, the surface is basically just public information that you guys could find on the internet stuff that's meant for everyone. The deep web is much more private and usually you have to log into these websites to use them. That or you have to know the exact URL. You can't just search it. Then the dark web, you guys have to use a Tor browser just to access. These are websites that you can only access if you're completely encrypted and anonymous and this could be used for legal or illegal reasons. So there you guys have it, the web iceberg explained. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys drop a like down below. And if you guys really enjoyed this, consider subscribing for more content coming your way that may have something to do with this iceberg. Anyways, have a good one.